All righty, in this video, we are going to talk through how many calories a typical woman needs to lose weight. And what we're going to learn is that women are quite varied, just as men are, and that there's no such thing as an average woman, the perfect amount of calories for a particular woman. So we're going to walk through how much energy women need, how much energy women need just to survive their basal metabolic rate, why there's a little bit of a difference between kind of the exact target calories that the science tells us and what actually works out in real life. And we're just going to kind of chat it through and talk you through what kind of ranges your calorie needs might need to be in in order to lose weight. Now, it's important from the offset to say that I'm not the biggest fan of calorie counting, but I think it's really important to understand calories because if you're getting your calories in the ballpark, it's the primary driver of losing weight, and it also has the potential to give you a lot of food freedom. So you can get stuck down a channel of kind of restricting one particular carbohydrate or getting irrational about certain foods. So that's the benefit of calories. Obviously, if you take it too far, it gets a bit obsessive. That's not great either. But today we're just going to talk about how many calories. So I've got a couple of graphs here. And basically, this is out of the, the, the National um, Medicine in America there. They've got a database of doubly labeled water, which explains how many calories women use. And this is what they use to set the dietary reference intakes of what women should be eating to lose weight. And basically, the total daily energy expenditure, how much kind of energy the average woman uses in America is actually close to 2,300, which is a little bit higher than most people realize. And it is a bell-shaped distribution. So the idea that all women should eat need 2,000 calories and thus they should eat 1,200 calories is just nonsense. I'll show you the graph here. This is the distribution. So you can see that actually women's energy needs are all over the shop. Some, some poor women have very, very kind of low energy needs down here, well below 2,000, but some of them have massive energy needs, up over 4,000. So, you know, if you've got those huge energy needs, amazing. The basal metabolic rate, this is how much energy the average woman kind of uses just to survive. And this is closer to kind of 300 and the distribution is 1300, sorry, and the distribution is much tighter. So typically you would expect that, you know, somewhere between 1300, what a woman needs just for her kind of basic functioning, what her heart and her liver and her muscles use just, you know, without moving in the day, somewhere between 1,300 and 2,300 you might expect is where kind of the range might fall out. And what I did was I took this distribution, I pulled it out of our report and applied a 25% deficit, which is a bit aggressive, but we know that, you know, people aren't that accurate. And what that would tell you is you would think that women would be able to eat kind of 18, 17, 1,900, somewhere in there. You would think that most women would lose weight pretty well eating between kind of 1,700 and 2,000 calories. That's what you would think. But in reality, when you try that with clients, it doesn't work out so well. And this is the reason why. So they've done some studies. And in the US, they the average woman reports eating 1,825 calories, but in reality eats 2,365. In the UK, the average woman reports eating 1,575 calories but actually in reality eats 2,395 calories. So what this means that in real life, when you're working with clients, you end up setting the target a little bit lower than you would have hoped. And people need to see some results early on. So if I set my female clients target up at I don't know, 2,000 calories or 1,800 calories, a smaller woman, you know, even if she is losing weight, she loses weight so slowly that she just gets discouraged and she gets no results. So in reality, we have to be more aggressive with our targets. Now, what does this mean? What I have found is this is the kind of typical range. So I have found that a very generic kind of, you know, about a 180 pound woman that, you know, has a bit of a doesn't sit all the time in a desk every day, but moves around a little bit. The mid range I find is around 1500 calories. Women with higher energy needs, they can get away kind of cutting up at 1,800 calories. There are some women, if you can lose weight on more than 1,800 calories, amazing. If you can lose a pound a week eating 2,000, 2,200, amazing. It's absolutely brilliant because you know that's great for your metabolism. But in reality, I find these women are few and far between. And then um, the lower, so that's my neighbor's dog, the lower range I find some women just have lower energy needs so you know they are forced to dig considerably lower 
down around 1200 is where I find. You can obviously go down below 1200. There are tons of interesting studies. You lose weight faster. If you're really aggressive, you will lose weight faster. It is just a question of whether you'll thrive down there, whether you'll be able to sustain it and whether it will kind of work out for you in the long run. But for some people that can be done. But the thing is, if you're gonna go low, you really need to know what you're doing. So you need to have adequate protein, you need to have your basic fat covered, and you need to be eating kind of decent whole food because this is a very aggressive way to diet. And if, you, if you're not intelligent about it, if you just do some wacky kind of grapefruit diet or silly, you know, shake diet or whatever, it's really not gonna work out for you in the long run. You'll just yo-yo and it's not gonna be great. So. That's the basic ranges, and I'm just going to explain to you why you'll be looking at this going, well, what number am I? Well, that is very complicated. And if you go to a calorie calculator on it, on the internet, you will not get an accurate answer. It will it will tell you a number, but there's no chance in hell that number is going to be accurate, and this is the reason why. So the things, these are the R squared, so the things that are explaining this variation of the data. And a little bit of it, 0.19 is your age, so people as they age, use fewer calories. Women, as they age, tend to use fewer calories. Taller women tend to use more calories, more surface area, more ability to dissipate heat. They use a little bit more. Weight is also a big determinant. So heavier women will use more energy in general because you know more weight just means more force, more energy every time you take a step. So basically, normally heavier people use more energy. And then finally, this is the big one. Activity level is the single biggest driver of this variation in your energy needs. So if you're highly active, and you know that is going to make a massive difference. And this is the thing that the calorie calculators are very, very poor at capturing. They've got no idea about your activity level. They're just taking a stab. A lot of it is genetic. It's what type of job you have. It's whether you exercise. It's whether you fidget. It's how your posture control is. It's so, so complicated. So Basically, what you need to do with your calories is you just really need to focus in on finding some consistent way to eat, whether it's tracking or whether it's low carb or, or whether it's, you know, certain foods restricted, a meal plan, doesn't matter. Just be very, very consistent and then take some time, look at your photos, look at your measurements, look at your weight, be very consistent and adjust based on those results. That's the key to weight loss. You need to be consistent and then you need to adjust. And obviously, if you can get away with doing it on 1,600 calories, that's amazing. If you have to drop to 1,400, 1,300, even 1,200, that's just not that weird. It happens all the time with clients, you know, shorter women, women with desk jobs, older women, they just end up not being able to eat as much as you would like. And, you know, that's just the reality of it. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's really important to understand that people are varied, right? So you know, we have these bell-shaped distributions. If 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 your friend has lost weight really well on 1,500 calories, that means nothing to you. You might have much higher energy expenditure or you might have much lower energy expenditure. If your daughter lost weight on 1,200 calories, you know, well and good, but maybe you expend an extra 500 calories than her per day. There are very, very, you know, people are very varied and you need to be cognizant of that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I will do the men's video tomorrow. So all those guys are looking at that going, what's going on? I'll do the men's video tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for your time. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Thanks so much. Bye.